everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved sales of a new robotic prosthetic arm. The arm was developed by DECA, a New Hampshire-based company with funding from the Pentagon. It uses electrodes designed to detect electrical activity from muscle contraction, which a processor in the arm then translates into one of ten possible specific movements. The arm was tested recently by the Department of Veterans Affairs, where 90% of subjects reported being able to use the arm for a variety of activities, including eating, using keys, pulling zippers, brushing teeth, and combing hair. The developers at DECA have nicknamed the robotic arm Luke because of... You don't need me to explain that reference, do you? Next up, scientists at the Scripps Research Institute have engineered a bacterium with a genome that contains artificial DNA. What do I mean by artificial DNA? I mean the scientists added to the genome of this bacterium a new pair of DNA bases that doesn't occur in nature. The bacterium's genome contains the same four bases that make up the DNA of every other living thing, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, or A, T, G, and C, with A pairing with T and G pairing with C, along with two new bases, D5SICS and DNAM, which form their own base pair. The bacterium was able to replicate the DNA containing the artificial base pairs as long as the new bases were supplied using a special transporter protein. Unlike the four natural nucleobases, the molecules used for the artificial bases, D5, SICS, and DNAM, aren't naturally found in living cells. The ability to synthesize custom DNA with artificial bases could lead to the creation of new proteins and improved treatments for a potentially endless list of diseases, as well as other applications, such as in the field of nanotechnology. And finally, researchers at Harvard have found a protein that can improve the function of the brain and of muscles that have deteriorated due to age. The protein is called GDF11 and was previously found to improve heart function in aging mice. Now, a pair of studies from the Harvard Stem Cell Institute published in the journal Science found that GDF11 produced similar improvements in brain function and exercise capability. GDF11 occurs naturally in both mice and humans, but is found in much higher concentrations in the young. The potential benefits of this discovery are obvious, but the science is still at an early stage. The researchers hope to be able to begin human trials in three to five years. You're just going to be grumpy and meow through the whole thing, aren't you? The FDA approved sale of a robotic prosthetic arm, just like the one Luke Skywalker has. Scientists synthesize DNA with an artificial base pair in a bacterium, and researchers study a protein that could reverse the effects of aging in the muscles and the brain. That's the good news. Anything else you want to say?